Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up another Shards of Alara tournament deck. Uh, when actually, I, I grabbed a couple of these a while back. We opened one on the channel. It wasn't too bad, um, but uh, it wasn't great. So we're going to try our luck again with this. We're going to get right into it. Um, now I'm doing the whole knife thing here because these things always give me just a horrid time when I try to open them. I, I'm not sure what these things are and what they have against me, but it, it's not pretty. It's not pretty. So, anywho, we'll go ahead and open this up here. Alright. And let's see if I can actually get the tab thing to work this time. Not even mess with it. You know what? Not even gonna do it. <laughs> I can already see I'm having issues. So let's just go ahead and do that right there. Alright. We got that bad boy open. Alright. Um, and I would like to once again apologize. Last week we forgot again to do our um, comment contest. You know, you comment and we give stuff away. Um, so we're going to be doing that uh, in Thursday's video. Uh, we are going to be doing that again. Let's see, we go here. So don't fret, we got that. All right, this is our land stack. And then we got our little rules insert. Uh, I'll tell you what, a single page is a lot different than the books when they started. I mean, you got actual books in these. So, anywho, real quick, we're just going to glance these lands because they are just B E A beautiful. So pretty. That is, that's just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, man. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. All right, and then after the lands, we've got, oh, I show, oh, my bad. I'm sorry, I thought that one was flipped over for some reason. It's not. Um, we're going to pretend you didn't see it, and we're going to put that off to the side. Yeah, and then these should be our rares. All right, now we're, because we are doing just the tournament deck here, we are going to slow roll through it. And kind of take a look what we got. We got a Yoked Plow Beast, Bane Wasp Affliction, Deaf Duelist, Court Archers. Now, none of this stuff is really worth a whole lot. Um, essentially, there's uh, like half a dozen rares slash mythics that are actually worth stuff. And then, of course, the foils. Uh, Resounding Thunder, Jessen Lookout. Am I pronouncing that right? Jessian? Jessian Lookout. Resounding Silence. Uh, Dredge Escape Zombie. I love zombies. Cillian Elf. Souls Fire. I like. Actually, no, I. This right here, target creature control, in play, deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. Um, this with Blightsteel Colossus. EDH fun. I actually got to do it like a month ago. Uh, Victor Sears. Rick Claw, Gargantuan. Onyx Goblet. I like that one. Spell Snip. Bant Panorama. I've always liked the art on this card. I used to have a foil one. Don't have it anymore. It's not worth anything. I just, I think it's absolutely beautiful. We got Gust Rider Exuberant. Why does it... This card, like, okay, it's not, it's not too, it just, it feels exceptionally thick. I, I don't know what's going on. I digress. We got Soul's Might. <laughs> we got Undead Liatu. Liao, Liatu, Li we got that guy. Obelisk of Esper. Shadow Feed. Tide Hollow Strix. I love that bird. Flying and Death Touch for two. 
I'll take it. And it's an artifact. Uh, Cathari Screecher, Soul's Grace, Mastodon, uh, Wave Skimmer, Avon, Elvish Visionary, love that card, Vithian, Vithian Stinger, Gift of the Gargantuan, Outrider of Jess, Obelisk of Naya, that's two obelisks. We got Windright Mage, um... For some reason, I'm thinking that's actually worth a little something. John Panorama. All right, here we go. Now we got the uncommons here. We've got the Jund Charm. Scavenger Drake. Rocks Charger. Rocks War Monk. Love that guy. Seaside Citadel. Say that six times fast. Demon's Herald. Swerve. And... Uh, proto matter, proto matter powder. I don't even know this one. Sacrifice it. Return target artifact to play. That actually seems pretty good. All right, got one more, and it is Angel's Herald. So, uh, what's the one? I think Relic is in this. We didn't get one of those. That's unfortunate. All right, let's see what we got here. Our first, the one we kind of got a glimpse at, Knight of the White Orchid. Wah wah. I mean, good card, just not worth anything. And then we got ourselves a Punish Ignorance. No idea what that is actually worth. And then our last rare, we got Michaeloth. I'm almost positive that is not worth anything, but I will double check. And then for our foil, we got... Oh, Cathari Screecher. Um, pretty sure that one's not a hit either. Well... I don't think we got there, folks. Um, pretty sure we did not. I'm going to double check my list here. But um, I, I don't think so. But you know what? I still enjoy opening these older sets. It's uh, They're just fun. Yeah, okay. This, <laughs> this is like two bucks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Nothing really good here, but you know what? That's okay. That's not why we open this stuff. Uh, we open it because it's fun, trip down memory lane, and uh, I don't want to be that guy, but uh, back when we had days of excellent card stock. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell notification button so you can tell them we have new episodes coming out. And be sure to share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do me one last huge favor, check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.